Hello dear students, I hope you are all fine. Once again welcome back to Bosco Campus Vision YouTube channel of Kottayam Don Bosco College. I am Rania, faculty member of PG Department of English. Today I am here with the paper European Fiction which is the elective paper for semester 3 MA students under Kerala University. This is the fourth lecture of the series. In our previous classes, we are discussing the historical background, historical as well as literary background of European literature. Uh, and we have already covered Dark Ages, Ancient Classical Period, Middle Ages, uh, then uh, Renaissance Period and also uh, the Enlightenment Period. In this class, we are discussing the literary features of Romantic Period. So, let's begin. Romantic movement began in the mid-18th century and lasted till the 19th century. It was a cultural revolution. Naturally, it, its influence had shadowed on literature also. During this time, a series of literary output came forward. The writers of Europe started thinking on the basis of emotions, imaginations and feelings. Nature and its premises were given much importance. So naturally, writers started on the uh, basis of the common man's language. They selected language for their literary output from common man's life. It was during this time, Beethoven's music, music and Immanuel Kant's philosophy arised. Political revolutions and also industrial revolutions happened in, during this time. Industrial revolution resulted the societies of Europe from an agricultural basis towards an industrial or commercial basis. This political revolutions were mainly on the basis of three ideas, liberty, equality and fraternity. Naturally, we can speak, romantic literature was the output of industrial revolution. So, these were the major changes happened in Europe during the time of romantic period. Now let's check what are the literary features of Romantic Age. Romantic movement can be viewed as a cultural revolution. It reacts against the aspects of neoclassicism. In Romanticism, writers gave special emphasis on the uniqueness of individuals. That is why in literature we can see writers' emotions, imaginations and feelings. Nature and its surrounding gave special emphasis in literature. Even the writers choose the language of common people in their writings. We can see some kind of gothic and supernatural element in the writings of some writers of romantic period. For example, in Britain, the writings of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. From that we can see some supernatural elements. Which resulted, this later resulted mysticism and also transcendentalism in literature. In the case of Romantic poetry, uh, in the previous period, that means in the Neoclassical period, we, uh, we saw some kind of uh, epic poetry. But in the case of Romantic poetry, instead of this epic poetry, Romanticists chose lyric poetry. For example, uh, po poems of Wordsworth, Coleridge, Byron, Shelley and Keats. In the case of Novels, romantics, romantics selected sentimental novels and also historical novels. In essays, we can see some kind of autobiographical or personal elements. Charles Lamb's Essays of Elia, that is very famous uh, essay collection. So in short, we can say that romantic literature were very close to nature. Now, let's see who are the prominent writers during the time of Romantic period. Now, let's check the literary content of European literature during the time of Romantic period. Literature gave special emphasis on individuals' imaginations, feelings and emotions during this period. As a result, a romantic works a romantic works stem from the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings, as Wordsworth rightly said. One of the important poets during this time was William Blake. He was a visionary poet. He was famous for his songs of innocence and songs of experience. 
Robert Burns was known for his lyrics written in Scottish vernacular on nature, peasant life, love, friendship and patriotism. Another important figure was Wordsworth. He was the uh, father of English Romantic poetry and the great English Romantic poet. The prelude is his autobiography. Along with his friend Samuel Taylor Coleridge, he wrote lyrical ballads which was a po- which was a volume of poems. Coleridge was the writer of famous mysterious poem, The Rime of the Ancient Mariner. And Dejection Anode is an addressing poem to Sarah Hutchinson, which was written by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Biography and literary was his autobiographical writing. Another important writers were Byron, Shelley and Keats. They have also put forward their content of lit- rich content of literary output to European literature. Sir Walter Scott was a novelist of romantic age. Ivan Ho is a famous historical novel. Jane Austen was regarded as Britain's greatest women novelist. Her often read novels are Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice and Emma. Charles Lamb was famous writer during the prose writer during the time of romantic age. His, he wrote under the pen name Elia. He was a famous essayist of romantic age. From Germany also, we have two major figures. First one is Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. In the realm of literature, Goethe had achievements in drama and poetry. He was also a good novelist, translator and a critic. His The Sorrows of Young Werther is an epistolary novel, but his masterpiece was Forced a Tragedy. Frederick Schiller was another important writer from Germany during this time. He wrote dramas, lyrics and ballads. Love for liberty is the main theme of his works. William Tell is the best known drama of him. From France, we have Rousseau. He was the father of French Romanticism. He was very much fond of nature and rebellious against the social and political order. From his work, we can see full of imagination as well as emotions. The Social Contract, Emily and Confessions are his famous works. Victor Hugo was another writer during the time of Romanticism. He excels in poetry, fiction and drama. His novels express humanitarian concern about problems and suffering of the common people. Prefers to Cromwell, The Less Miserable. These two are his famous works. From Russia, we have a representative writer Alexander Pushkin. He is known as the Byron of Russia. He wrote poetry, drama, novels and as well as short stories. His famous novel in verse form is Eugene Onegin. In short, we can say that romantic literature is the literature of heart rather than literature of head. That means romantic literature is the literature of sensibility, not literature of sense. Romantics can be viewed as humanists because their poems or their literary output discusses the life of human and nature and its relationship so much of auto, so much of autobiographical elements are also seen in the writings of romantic literature so my dear students i am concluding today's class see you in the next class do the homework and send me through whatsapp then only you will get attendance thank you